Hi and welcome, and today we are in Elkhorn, Iowa, one of the oldest Danish towns in the United States. We are so excited to be here and check out all the Danish wonder that this little town has to offer, and we'd like to take you with us. So come along and let's go check out Elkhorn, Iowa. One of the first places that you'll see when you come into town is Tivoli, which is a little hotel. So you actually have a place to stay if you come to Elkhorn, Iowa. And you'll have a nice little welcome because you have a little Danish flag. And this is actually, I think, the third Danish flag that we've seen as we've been driving in. And it's such a small little town. Um, I don't even think they have more than a thousand people. I think it's like 600 and something. So it's a nice, quiet little place. Reminds me of my quiet little town that I live in in Denmark. Um, what do we see over here across the street? They even have these cute little street signs that have the windmill on them and a nice little font. This is not what a street sign looks like in a typical American town. So you can see it's a little different here in this little Danish town. Walking around though, you can see that this is very much a typical American town. I mean, obviously, I'm American. I grew up in a small town. It's quiet. There's lots of pickup trucks. There are American flags pretty much on every pole. But then there are also Danish flags, so that's something a little different. The town I grew up in Ohio, um, was a German town and we did not hold on to our German heritage as much as the people here did with their Danish heritage. What is this little building over here? Let's go check that out. <laughs> So this little house evidently is the Viking Yem. So it's Elkhorn, Iowa's version of a Viking home. And leading up to it from the, the windmill, you'll see lots of signs that talk about Viking life and give you a little bit of information on that. <laughs> So it's really kind of interesting for people who live in Iowa and in the U.S. where we really don't know a whole lot about Vikings to have a little bit of Viking history right here in the middle of the U.S. And there is their windmill that they had brought over from Denmark many years ago. It's also an information center, so I think maybe we'll go over there and check it out. They did number and tag the stones up on the second floor, so you're welcome to go look at those. I do have the door open to the catwalk, um, kind of have to watch the kids on that. And then there's two more flights that lead up to the gears, um, they're kind of steep, they're like ladders. So if you do go up there, we suggest you back down those steps. Okay.
We're taking a tour of the local windmill here that is over 60 feet tall and was brought over from the middle of Jutland or Uland in Denmark. Let's go have a look upstairs. small building next to the windmill has a gift shop and let's go see what kind of Danish things they have inside. Get lots of information on places to go and things to see in Iowa. Looks like some town history. Shows you some information on the town. this much Danish food outside of Denmark. I'm telling you, in normal American grocery stores, we don't have this kind of stuff. So it's really quite amazing that you can find all this stuff here. Things to make abelskiwa, things to decorate cakes, all kinds of things. Plates, everything you need right here in this small town in the middle of the US.
coming here when we lived about five or six hours away when we actually lived in the US just to check it out but we really should have because there's so much stuff that we could have gotten for Christmas that we didn't need my mother-in-law to send over for us <laughs> of the town Ebutov, which is just north of Aarhus on Jutland, or what we call Uland in Denmark. Hus or Grandma's house is a house built in 1908 by a Danish immigrant and it shows people what a house actually looked like during this time period. Though the home was rented out in the early 1900s by many different Danish families and was also the home for 36 years to one Danish immigrant, there were not many changes made. Then in 1982, the home was then sold to the Elkhorn Kimbleton Arts and Recreation Council and is now considered a historical landmark in the town and open for viewing to guests. Now we've left Elkhorn, Iowa and we drove two miles north to the town of Kimbleton which has Little Mermaid statue with a few other statues from stories from Hans Christian Andersen. I love how the town of Kimbleton embraces both the Danish and American cultures together. Check out this little mermaid holding both flags and they're honoring the veterans. Honoring local veterans, I think that's pretty cool. If you also are traveling with kids, this is a great place to stop for a picnic. There are lots of picnic tables and then also it has a fantastic playground. Mm -hmm. 